Guy and the Wolfman from Barefoot Bushcraft, and I want to thank you so much for tuning in. Today we're going to talk about uh, one of the 10 C's of Survival by David Canterbury, and that is the connection or cordage needle. Uh, the sail needle which connects everything together. So it will start with a story. Uh, back in 2009 I hiked the Bruce Trail in its entirety from end to end all the way from uh, Queenston, Ontario to Tobermory, Ontario. And while I was out there a couple weeks in I came across a young couple and the young lady was hugging her backpack. So instead of having the straps on her on her back and where it belongs, she was hugging her backpack walking along the trail. Uh, and I thought this was a bit strange, so you know, I tried to be friendly, hey, how's it going? You know, tell me what's going on. And, uh, and she says, well, one of the things that happened to her on the trail, they were about a day into their four or five day trek on the trail, was that her backpack strap broke. Uh, a very common thing, you know, equipment breaks all the time, stuff uh, comes apart, it's just the way of the world. And uh, I was really surprised and I said, well, why don't you sew it up? And they said, well, I, I have no idea what to do. So I, I asked them to stop, we sat down, I pulled out a sail needle and I fixed it for them. So carrying a needle uh, it, it can help for a lot of emergencies, especially overnight trips. Uh, you know, quite recently I was out with my dogs and my backpack, uh, my cummerbund, the strap, the waist strap broke and that would have been a huge mess because, you know, I attached my dogs to my pack. Uh, so the next question, of course, that comes up is what do you do to keep the needle safe because a needle is a long pointed steel object and to stop it from breaking into you know, pieces of your equipment. So what I've managed to, uh, to devise is using a pen. So check this out. This is just a pen um, and inside the pen is a needle and thread kit. So there's a needle right there and a bunch of thread. So let's take a, a closer look at this and we'll make one and you can sort of see now how it's the safest way to carry your sail needle and a little tiny sewing kit while you're packing. So as I was saying, I just use a pen. So this is just a, well, it's a pen. So I pop the top off the pen like this. I push them on really tight. And then just like I had just showed you inside, I have a little stick. Uh, the stick has uh, a, a bunch of thread wrapped around it. And then of course the needle itself. So I'll show you basically the tools before we get this project started. And uh, yeah, that's that. So what I've got, I've got a ball, a ball of thread, or a cone of thread, I suppose, what that is. I have a, a stick. Now these are uh, known as meat sticks. You can also get them for skewer sticks, or for hors d'oeuvres, or uh, shish kebab sticks, or whatever. Anyways, I get them. They're usually a dollar a bundle. You get them at the Dollar General, or of course, uh, your local supermarket. And then, of course, uh, a, a set of needles. Now these needles are called doll needles. Uh, I got them because they're heavy duty. They're strong. Uh, you certainly don't have to get these ones, uh, but of course the stronger the needle uh, you have the better it's going to be. So we've got our three tools uh, and a pen. Uh, next thing to do is we're just going to get started here, take the pen apart, put it all together and make the project that we need. So I have my old discarded pen, uh, just one that I basically it's empty or I don't need it anymore. Now it has in it, it's got a cap on this end, right? So that we're not going to touch that. Basically what the cap allows it to do is make sure the needle doesn't fall out. And in this end you have the pen and all its guts. So we're going to take my trusty pliers here. I'm going to take the top of the pen right there. I'm going to grab it and I'm just going to remove it. There we go. So now this part here can be thrown in the garbage or recycling depending on where you live. We don't need it anymore. So now we have this little plastic tube, right? So the meat stick fits comfortably in the tube. So we're going to break it off. Uh, I don't know about the halfway point, make sure it's longer than our needle just like this. They should be light enough you can break it by hand. There we go. And then I'm going to test fit it again. Make sure it's not too long. Fits in there really, really nicely. Now today we're going to cheat. I'm going to take a drill and <laughs> just so I can wind the thread a little faster on video. There we go. And now the drill will allow it to turn. All right. As soon as I get it turned on, there we go. So next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to take my thread. I'm going to start it of course because I don't want the drill to to go a little crazy here and take it all away from me and just get it to, to turn. Now what's going to happen eventually is it's going to start to draw that in. There we go. You don't need much thread on here.
So there we go. I pretty much have this enough thread. Obviously, you're not going to need a ton of thread when you're out in the to do a stitch job, right? So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my needle and just for safety, so I don't ever lose my needle, I'm going to take this out and I'm going to wrap the needle around the thread ball. So that way, the needle isn't going to get loose, come out, or have any real issues. So there we go. So just a few winds. Basically, all I need to do is keep it on there so it's not going to fall off. Break the thread if you can. There we go. So now I have this little bundle right there, a pile of thread and a needle. I'm going to take it drop it in there just like that put my 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 cap on it there we have it literally that's it the project is done uh, so now what happens is when this is sitting inside my pack the needle can't come out and it's not going to break through my water bladder wreck my stuff poke me get lost anything like that and again anytime i need to deploy it or i need to stitch something take the pen cap off take it out and take off the thread that i need and again when i'm done Put it back. Really simple, simple tool, simple device that can literally save your hike. And it's so, so simple to make. Again, sail needle, right? A, a, a meat stick and some thread. And that's all there is to it to make it. So there you have it. You can take your, your sail needle and your thread and a couple of pens and make yourself a really cool tool for the wilderness that could literally save your hike. Like I say, I've used this twice uh, in, in recent years. Uh, you can use any color thread you want, of course, any needles that you want. Uh, I prefer a larger needle, again, sail needles or a doll needle as it's called as well. Um, it's really good because they're heavy duty and they're thick. And of course, if you're trying to sew a backpack, sometimes you could use your, your multi-tool, right? So you could just push it right through, get a lot of grip going on it. But anyways, really quick, super duper light, doesn't take up hardly any room whatsoever in your pack. And it will be a really good thing to keep because you just never know when some of this modern day equipment, you're going to bust it up. Anyways, I'm the Wolfman for Barefoot Bushcraft. I want to thanks for watching. Please consider subscribing and stay cheeky freaky.